Monroe County is not alone in its battle against COVID-19. The Ontario County Public Health Director said today she's very concerned about what's going on in her county. For example, Ontario had 63 new cases yesterday, bringing its total to nearly 1,400. More than 300 people are isolated. More than 600 are quarantined. 15 people are in the hospital. Kayla Green joining us now live from the Ontario County Health Department. Kayla, what does the health director say the surge is stemming from there? Adam, she says they're seeing a lot of cases coming from Thanksgiving gatherings as well as just gatherings in people's homes in general. She also says that they're seeing clusters, but more from events than specific geographic areas. She says this is widespread and it's affecting the whole county. People are getting exposed out there and then giving it to their loved ones across the dinner table. Mary Beer is the Ontario County Public Health Director. She says the increase started in September and each month since then, the county's cases have doubled. The last month was, the, was more cases than we had seen ever. It's because people aren't being as careful. They're getting together um, and they're with their friends and family and um, they have this sense of security. She says they're also seeing cases in nursing homes, group homes, and spreading among families in the same household. Beer says while students have tested positive, they haven't seen spread in schools. However, schools are preparing for the possibility of going into the yellow zone. I, I'm surprised we haven't gotten there yet, but part of it is that the numbers that we report are, are true whole numbers, um, and I, the state looks at things a little differently, so I don't have the ability to say what percentage we have that are all grouped together. Beer says they haven't seen spread in businesses like gyms, hair salons, or restaurants, but there have been clusters in other workplaces among coworkers. It's difficult to do the contact tracing and the investigation, um, but in, and if this keeps up, it's, we're just not able to do every single patient every single day. You know, stay home. This is I mean, not pretty out there, and it's, it's just going wild. Beer says they are hiring more people to help out with contact tracing, and she also says that they've started using volunteers and an outside agency to keep up with the surge of cases. Live in Canandaigua, Kayla Green, News 8. Kayla, thank you. Beer is also warning anyone who attended a surprise party at the Moose Club on Saturday to watch for symptoms and consider getting tested. She says there have been several positive cases from folks who attended that event.